multi-award winning and a regular on our TV screens on seven days and on stage with her sellout shows. She's our favourite South African Kiwi comedian. Please welcome to the cafe, Ursula Carlson. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome, to be welcome. fair, you don't have a lot of us. No, oh, sure. Well, yeah, you if might... you chuck in Lisbon there, like, I'm, I'm the only one. You nail I'm it. the only South African Lisbon comma. Hey, you need to stop talking for a moment while I go through your awards, OK? okay? This might take a while, actually. Take a seat. Okay. Uh, so you, you took to the stage the first time in 2008. Uh, you racked up an impressive array of awards. Let me get this right. Best Female Comedian at the 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013... 2015, 2016 New Zealand Comedy Guild Awards. Uh, then you've just got last week another award, um, Director's Choice at the Sydney Comedy Festival. Yeah. What an overachiever. I know, my mum's real proud. Oh, nice. Yeah. What happened to 2014? Yeah, I, 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 I sort of thought I'd take a year off because that year you don't have it in there where I got People's Choice Award. I thought, that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> now, look, I heard a rumour that you started this whole comedy gig by basically doing a, a workplace challenge. Yeah, Is by that peer what pressure. OK, t take us through that, because it sounds fascinating. OK, so I used to work in advertising, mm. and, um, you know, the drinks trolley comes around 4 o'clock um, on a Friday. <laughs> advertising. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they go, you should do comedy, you should do stand-up, you're pretty funny. I went, no, no, I'm such an introvert. And they go, no, you should do it. And then when I left, that agency to go to another, they gave me a fake contract, and they had signed me up to do it. Oh, wow. And they had booked seats for about 70 of them so I didn't want to look like I'm not a good sport so yes. I went ahead and I did it and then afterwards I got a call from the owner of the club to say that I'm through to the next round so we didn't know it <laughs> wow. was Raw Quest where they're looking for new talent and I went oh no I'm already nailing life with a job <laughs> I said you give it to someone that's interested that was just a work thing I, he goes everyone laughed I said mate everyone laughed because I knew 70 people in that audience <laughs> and he goes um, I was in the audience I laughed I don't know you and I wow. thought, hmm. Do you remember anything from your first routine? Yeah. It was on St. Patrick's Day, 2008. I went out and I kind of froze. I couldn't remember what I had written. And then I said, but they were all in green, or the majority of them. I go, oh, that's great. It's my favourite colour, but I can't wear it because I look like Shrek. And then they started laughing. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I wasn't making a joke yet. And then I thought, oh, wait, this is working. It's working. And then wow. one lady said, oh. <laughs> and I said, I said, oh, don't worry, I don't suffer from low self-esteem. I just knew that anorexia was never going to be the disease to take me. Because as a child, I had to be cut out of a hula hoop. And then they just, and I was like, OK, that's it. <laughs> Good, so then you've got it, and then you've gone yeah. on to entertain thousands and yeah. thousands of people around the world, which is yeah. great. And we appreciate it, Ursula, because you are, you are very funny. Mm -hmm. Is that what happens when you get to a gig now? Or are they, you know, do you sort of look around the room and go, oh, I hope they're wearing a good colour? <laughs> yeah, it's something I can work on. Or no, is it... now at least I don't. Don't go completely blank. Oh, you're pro now. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. good. She's yeah. professional. Yeah. She's on the yeah. telly all the time. Yeah, um, the thing about you is we claim you as our own, like yeah. New Zealand's favourite comedian. Yeah. Um, but Australia, you were telling me, they also claim you as their own as well. Yeah. They think you are theirs. Yeah, they do. Because I work over there quite a bit and I do a TV show. So I sort of have parallel lives between Australia and New Zealand. And they think I live there. Because I'm there so much doing this show, and do you cook over there as well? They let you make tortellini over there. Actually, no. Last week I did um, oh, salted damn. caramel sauce. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the studio <laughs> ten. So, um, <laughs> but yeah. So, but they think I live there. They think oh, I'm by, like if I'm in Melbourne, they think I live in Sydney. If I'm in Sydney, they think I live in Melbourne. But I don't. So the other morning I had to say to them on Studio Ten, they go, "You live in Melbourne now." I go, "No, no, back up. I'm in Auckland." And they said, "But you're part of the Australian fabric." Of, I go. Yeah, nah, mate, I'm not Pavlova, you can't have me. <laughs> I'm New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. Like a farlap, actually, you know, yeah. racehorse. Yeah. Okay, what about <laughs> South Africa? Are you big there? Um, I'm just big everywhere, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've never gigged there because I, I started doing it here. So oh, wow. I'm actually, this year I'm going over to Edinburgh for my first Edinburgh and then um, I'm going back via South Africa and doing a few shows there. Well, that'll be interesting. Um, mm. Studies have shown is your your new show. Yes. What on earth is that based on? It's because <laughs> I travel a lot. Um, I'm in the car a lot. So you hear radio DJs go, studies have shown. Yeah. yeah. And then they always go, that. they go, uh, well, we've got some fun facts here. What's friendlier, your cat or your dog? Join us after this break and we'll tell you. It's like, why do we have to wait? Like, you literally, your cat is 100% of the time not the friendliest one. We know this. Your cat hates you. Um, even if you've got heaps of cats at home, hi, ladies, um, your, your cat hates you. you know? It's always going, where have you been? 
It's my time now. Um, where your dog is happy and friendly, but they, they pump millions of dollars into research and research groups that you could literally just ask people in a pub. And I think that's what happens. I think these scientists get you know, millions of dollars in seven year time frame and they go, all right. Yeah. And then they just sit in the pub and on the last day with the deadline, they go, kill the music. <laughs> Guys, what do you think is friendlier? The cats or the dogs? <laughs> and then they just jot that down and hand that in. So I think that's a good wicket. I'd like yeah. to do that. Yeah, yeah. And it sounds like a good thing too. And it's too, definitely a whole a show, show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because yeah. I did heaps of research myself. I did, did my own studies with did. basically no funding. Like, <laughs> just sandwiches. And stuff. So long Life must be pretty good for you then, because I think it would be quite nice, you know, being Ursula Carlson when you're wandering oh. around. People would never give you grief. They just, you know. I they? get some. I get a yeah. bit. I mean, you know, you always get the keyboard warriors, but um, yeah, yeah, 99 percent of the time it's positive. I always say I have the best job in the world. When mm. I show up, people are like, "Hey, you're here!" <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> like, they just laugh. Yeah, people are ready because when you go to a comedy show, you're already 80 percent there. You're like, "Oh, we're gonna have a good laugh tonight." Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, know, you've right. had a glass of wine. You're relaxing, and now uh, I just need to fill that 20 percent. So, <laughs> I've got the best job in the world. I work an hour a day. Where you go, okay. Now, I need to put some lippy on. Let's go, Al. Nice work. <laughs> no, appreciate it. Congratulations on all your success. Thank you. yep. and thanks for coming in and cooking some tortellini, which we're going to eat very it soon. It smells amazing, actually. <laughs> Looks thanks good, to too. Me. Your ones look good. Uh, Ursula's <laughs> 11 day tour studies have show and kicks off tonight in Invercargill. Uh, for more details, head to livenation.co.nz.